Hi everybody and welcome back to yet another video of me doing stupid things on camera for other people's amusement. <laughs> yes, no, but today's video is actually going to be a little bit more fun and laid back than the last. But firstly, a big thank you to everyone who supported my last video. I had like an overwhelming response from people showing their support, sending me beautiful messages, sending me their stories and also asking questions which is awesome and thank you so much the, to the people out there who felt uh, confident enough to come to me and and talk to me about it. I'm sorry if I didn't get around to messaging everyone that night. I was definitely in sensory overload. I played with all of my toys, popped all of them and now I just have a ball sack left. So I have to play with a ball sack. You can't go into a public place fiddling around with a ball sack. It's got two little balls like in it. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, so after I filmed that part, I lost the ball sack. Uh, so now there's just a ball sack somewhere in my house and I can't find it. So the next time someone comes over, they're just gonna find a ball sack and I have to explain why I have a ball sack in my house. Please though, feel free to ask me any more questions. Don't be shy, I won't judge at all. And I will be making more content in the future about my autism, things like tips for sensory overload and how I deal with people who think I should be doing kid-friendly content because I'm autistic. Like, what the fuck? Yep, I'm talking to you, Karen. Okay, now into the vid. So, does anyone remember being in primary school and like a kid would bring in those super sour warhead packets where they've got those little things of just like pure sourness, sour, sourness. Oh God, it happened again. And like you do these challenges together where you'd put as many in your mouth as possible and you'd like stare at each other until someone cracked and the loser would have to like, I don't know, like eat some dirt or play on the pleb, bleh. What the fuck? <laughs> or play on the prep playground for like 15 minutes. So I decided to go to my local milk bar that I still had no idea it was open. And I found this Warhead super extreme sour Warheads. Jesus, my mouth is watering just thinking about this. I'm so sorry if I spit. Well, I'm one of the freaks who loved this challenge because for some messed up reason, I just love the feeling of something so sour it burns a hole in your tongue. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've always been a sour fan. But you know who's not a sour fan? Luke. And so, this brings me on to my next point. I'm gonna bring Luke in in a second and we're gonna play a little game. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play a little game here. Okay. Okay. All right. Just gotta make sure my fly is done up. Okay, friend, do you need some help? We wouldn't want the cock. <laughs> then we really do become a fans only. Uh, only fans? <laughs> it's like making your own Bali ripoff. Sign up to my fans only. Okay, so uh, I've already explained to you what's happening, but I'm going to explain it again. So we've got warheads in these bowls. Did you... I'm just checking if I look good. Yeah, I look good. Hey. Okay, so warheads in a bowl. Mm -hmm. You've got your own bowl there as well. It's, we've got 18 each because that was all that was in the thing. Well, there was actually one more left, but I'm not putting that one in mine. Oh, so. there's an extra one. You think I'm a coward? Yeah. Head me up. Oh, no. No, no, no. After. Not now. <laughs> Fans only. This <laughs> <laughs> just like war me up sounds like I'm declaring war on you. So I went with head me up, but neither of them were good. I should have said war head me up. That sounds like I'm asking for a violent blowjob. <laughs> Guys, none of, none of this is going to make the final cut, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, none of this is going to make <laughs> the final cut. No. Yeah. Okay, so. As I said, keep saying, got a bowl full of warheads. We're gonna put them in our mouths. Okay. I don't right. think you would put them anywhere up. No. I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Sign up for our fans only for that. No, that's the second challenge if this one doesn't go right. We just shove them up our arsehole. Do you reckon <laughs> that it would be sour? Like, like you can taste it? Like when people do like, they chug beer up their butt to get drunk. Like, yeah. <laughs> Get sour. I think you're shoving at your butt. You're like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
your channel is usually so like tame and tame, tame and I'm and I'm bringing this different energy and I apologize to make subscribers. <laughs> And, uh, and whoever spits them out or breaks first yes. has to eat, eat or consume, depending on what the concoction yeah, yeah, is, and like eat or drink. Is. Yes. If we happen to like both complete the challenge and we keep it in our mouths the whole time, you know, when it gets all like just to like the lolly part. Mm. If that happens, I'm asking for suggestions for other challenges and we're just going to keep doing challenges until one of us loses. Or a jackpots and next time we have to do it twice. <sighs> I'm just gonna lubricate my mouth. I know, maybe I should lubricate it as well. Why are we saying lubricate? But oh, wet sounds gross. It's so moist. <laughs> Three, two, one. Zoom in on that. I'm <laughs> gonna go get a napkin. Oh, Luke. I'm really proud of myself. I'm really I was proud of myself. About to throw in the towel, and then I imagined, I, I thought about what we had in the cupboard, and I was like, I don't want a combination of any of that. I was just gonna make you eat rice bubbles and soy sauce. I was gonna do a lot worse. <laughs> I was no, gonna I reckon that's throw worse. Up. I was, I know, I know the exact combination to make you throw up. Here, do this. Ah, sticky hand, sticky hand, sticky hand. Yeah. That was pretty sticky. And guess what? Yeah. Now, Sticky Meg has to do a batch of oh, Guys, just sign up to our fans only. <laughs> yes, so Luke and I are about to do another Bachelor video. Um, so, you know, head over to the other channel to, to watch the other ones. And yeah, thanks for, for watching. Have a good night. Anything else? Did you say? Have a good night. I think you said a combination of day and night. Have a good night. <laughs> or if you're watching in the morning or the evening, have a good evening. Ooh, a bit of a evening. Mm. Alright, we're gonna stop now. Probably. Alrighty, goodbye! <laughs>